Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you 4 easy ways to free up some disk space on your C drive without losing valuable data. This would also solve the problem of your C drive getting full automatically when in fact you haven't saved any major files or installed any heavy applications to it. Or maybe you are getting a warning that you are running out of disk space. Now these 4 methods will work on virtually any version of Windows you may be running. And even if you are not running out of disk space yet, it's advisable that you perform these processes every once in a while, maybe after a couple of months or half a year depending on how you use your PC. The fourth method is mainly for those who work with lots of video and media files. If you use some video editing software like Premiere Pro or any of such applications, then the fourth method could come in really handy in saving your disk space. With that said, let's get right into it. As you can see here, I have a little more than 11 GB of space left in my C drive and the disk bar is in red. The first method is to clear up cached Windows updates. To do that, go to your computer, click on this PC, from there go to your drive C, click on Windows folder and then search for a folder named Software Distribution. Now in my case, I have just about 700 MB of data in this folder. Yours would vary depending on the amount of software distribution files you have stored in it and it could be as high as 5 GB in some cases. So this could free up quite a lot of space. Now open the folder, select all the content and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Now as you can see, it hasn't made any impact to my disk space yet until I go to empty my recycle bin. Then come back and refresh my computer folder. Only then would I see I have recovered some disk space. The second method is to perform a disk cleanup. As you can see here, I have a little less than 7GB of disk space left. Let's see how much disk space we're going to recover from the disk cleanup. For that, you go to your search and type disk cleanup as shown on the screen. Select the disk cleanup app from the search result. You should get this pop-up here asking you for the drive you want to clean up. Your hard disk is usually drive C, so I will leave it as drive C and then click OK. Wait for the disk cleanup to run. After some time, you should see this window here. At the top, it shows you the amount of disk space you can free by running the cleanup utility. You can go through the list of files you are about to delete. It also shows you the corresponding size of each file or folder. As you can see here, the bulk of my disk space is occupied by temporary files, with a little more than 28GB of disk space. Now, since I don't need these files anymore, I'm going to select all of them and click OK. It then asks if I'm sure I want to delete these files. Here I will select delete files and wait for the process to complete. And now let's go back and see how much this space we have managed to recover from the cleanup. Here, as you can see, we have only recovered about 1 gigabyte. So what happened to the other 27 or so gigabytes? Let's find out. Now go back and run the disk cleanup utility once again. As you can see here, it still shows that I can free up to 28 gigabyte of space, which is kind of strange. Now I will select all the files again and hit OK. Then allow the process to run.
Now I will go back to my folder and see how much this space I have recovered again. Here as you can see, another partial recovery. Now I don't know exactly why Windows wouldn't clean up all the temporary files at once, but it doesn't take much time to run the disk cleanup utility. So maybe you would have to go through a few iterations to recover all your disk space from the temporary files. Now after about 4 iterations, I managed to recover about 25GB of disk space, so I think it's worth the time. The third method is to use size gigantic command to reveal all files larger than 128MB in size. To do that, you go to your computer and open the C drive. Then click in the search box on the top right corner of the window and type size colon gigantic as shown on the screen. Then wait for Windows to list all files larger than 128 MB. This could take a while depending on how much files you have on your computer. Now Microsoft believes that file sizes ranging from 128 MB and above is the threshold for gigantic files. Now here are some other commands you could use to reveal other file sizes in the same search box. So after listing these files, you can now see which files are taking the most space in your disk. Then check if there are files you no longer need. In my case, I no longer need these two Ubuntu installation files anymore. And if I check thoroughly, I would see some other files I no longer need. But I'm just going to select these two. And then hit delete on my keyboard. Now always remember to empty your recycle bin after deleting unwanted files. Because only then will the disk space be made available. Now at the end of the process, I was able to recover over 40GB of this space from these three methods. The last approach for this tutorial would be to clean up Adobe Media Cache files. These are temporary files Adobe stores when you edit media files using any Adobe applications. Over time, this could add up to some really significant amount of disk space. So if you are a creator or video producer, then you want to perform this cleanup every once in a while. To do that, you go to your computer folder, open your local disk, go to users, select your user account name, here I will select Jude, open app data, select roaming, adobe, common, and then media cache files. Here you should see all the cache files from your adobe applications. As you can see, I have some large files here and almost 3000 files in all. Now, if I right click and check properties, it shows I have over 2 GB of cache files here. And by the way, I try to do this cleanup often, sometimes weekly or monthly, depending on how much media files I edit during the time. Here, as you can see, the oldest file in this folder was created on May 26. So if you haven't done this in a long while and you work with lots of media files on Adobe applications, then these files could go up to tens of gigabytes. Here, I will select all files and then hit delete to remove them. I will empty my recycle bin later to reflect the disk space. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and share with anyone you think might find it useful as well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.